uh, joining us on the show. Sharda Ogra, senior editor with ESPN Cricket Info. Also, Kishore Rungta, former BCCI treasurer, and Niranjan Shah. He is a BCCI subcommittee member right now and a former secretary. Uh, before I go to my guest, I also like to uh, just update our viewers that uh, India Cements is planning to file a plea against this particular case. Go to the Supreme Court and and say that they have been dealt with unfairly on this particular case. Okay, I'll start with you, Sharda, and and. and and I'll ask you about something that I said right at the start of the show. As things stand, the head of ICC's anti-corruption body finds his own son-in-law and his IPL team suspended from the IPL on charges of corruption. I'm sure the irony hasn't missed you. Uh, no, completely. The fact that he is the chairman of the, uh, that Mr. Srinivasan, who you are referring to here, is the chairman uh, of the ICC is just a reflection of almost uh, a kind of uh, an institutional blindness around cricket as a whole to, to what happened over the last couple of years. And uh, in many ways, this judgment has, uh, this order is going to shake up a few things. And for Mr. Srinivasan to say that I have nothing to do with this and I am not a part of this, I mean, we don't have to believe him anymore because he said that Gurunath Mayapan uh, was not an uh, official or owner, he was just an enthusiast. So, uh, we, we are pretty much at a stage where, you know, cricket in, uh, organizationally, administratively has been seen as wanting and this is not just here, this is at, a, at the international, at the level of the international body and um, other people have had to take action against it which they've done so. Okay, now let's go to the core issue, that is the suspension of the two teams and not Mr. N. Srinivasan. I'll go across to Mr. Niranjan Shah. Sir, I spoke to you earlier where you said things need to be done to change the BCCI. Today, the image of the BCCI has been tarnished. This judgment in itself does that. Do you think it was their own doing, the members of the BCCI, your fellow members, their own doing? They actually, you know, if they had taken action, punitive action against Chennai Super Kings, against Gurunath Mayapan at that time, it wouldn't have come down to all this. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we should have taken a action quite uh, earlier and it, had, it should not have reached at this level that Supreme Court is involved and they have to... Uh, sir, so tell me, why was the action not taken, sir? All these things. I know you, now, are not, anyway, you are not an office bearer, but why was the action not taken? You were see, still part of the BCCI. After, uh, see, after, see, action taken or not taken is now a past thing, and BCCI is, you know, is a democratic system, and uh, when uh, majority of uh, members uh, feel that. Uh, the, this is the way system runs. So this has uh, come to this level. Now already our president has said that we will commit and honor the uh, judicial decision and we will all uh, uh, collectively decision will be taken in the future what, uh, what okay. is the next course of uh, action. Okay, Mr. Rungta, to you, as Niranjan Shah says there, that because the, pro the system is such, it's a democratic system, which is why nothing could have been done at that time. Members couldn't do much, couldn't take any action. Powers lies with the president. Do you think you've been an integral part of BCCI for many years, a former treasurer? You think the root cause is the constitution of the BCCI and the way the BCCI functioned? Many times we've associated the word cozy club with the BCCI. First and foremost, <clears throat> let me congratulate Mr. Dalmia on a very good statement that he is going to honor the decision taken by a judicial body. Very few presidents could have possibly said this, uh, which indirectly means that they are not going to be going to the Supreme Court for an appeal and accept this judgment per se, which according to me is a very good sign. At the same time, I would say that yes, as far as the BCCI is concerned, there have been some very tough decisions taken by the BCCI in the past. Uh, such as banning uh, no less than a person like Mr. I.S. Bendra, uh, taking decisions against uh, Azruddin and Ajay Jadeja and others. So to say that because but sir, democracy but sir, sorry is to there and you. because uh, sorry to interrupt you. You know, the general uh, criticism is, general criticism is, yes, BCCI will take action against, you know, the players like you mentioned, Azruddin will never take action against their own, especially if they happen to be close to the ruling party. Once you're out or away from the ruling party, then you will... Uh, there will be action taken against you. You yourself must have experienced that, sir. So when you were part of the BCCI, many say, when you are in power, no action is taken against your friends. Once they turn foes, is only then that BCCI takes any sort of action. 
not really uh, but that is that as mr narendran shah very sir, rightly said but that's the perception said, that's the perception what is really required because this is getting in this is getting into a discussion which is not going to lead us anywhere it is a truth that once you are on one to one uh, relationship taking a decision does become a little more difficult and tricky there is no denying that fact and institutions have to rise have to raise themselves above individuals there is also no denying that fact now that situation should now come about in the sense that this was one decision where the entire for the first time the image of the cricket control board was continuously taking a hit in the course of last 5 years continuously mr srinivasan who was the owner of uh, india cement was also the president of the board of control for cricket in india was also representing india in the icc and now is the chief of the anti corruption for any decision to happen lot depends on what is the what is the call or what is the take of the president to a very large extent okay. he has very many means uh, by which uh, he can arm twist uh, people so that was one reason because you are yourself you were the man who was involved into the uh, dirt you are the one who was also judging things so that that conflict of interest was a major issue for which i have been saying all along if you see my uh, tv clippings okay. in fact way back uh, when the right. match fixing uh, issue came up uh, we had all given in writing to paul okay. condon that we are not going to be commercially dealing with any of the associations that we are involved with